number five, Ottawa Senators. The team is ready. We are on the first day of our first game of the year five regular seasons, year 2026, year number five, year number five. Just a quick overview. This is our year five starting lineup. We're going to give Catton, Berkeley Catton, first line time. Hopefully we can develop him into something. 25 points last year in his rookie year. Second year this year, him we will be playing with Batherson to bring Cat. Second line, same as last year. Giroux of Boucher, Anna Nassiu, Marchenko, Greg, Ostapchuk. Same defense, exact same defense as last year. Good power play. We got good special teams. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, it always changes this. I hate that. Ridley Greg was there. Yes. So very good. Goalies in the net. We're going to have Connor Hellebuck. Very good. Very good. So. One thing I also just changed quickly. Before I we had a, the trade settings on normal, I made trades in normal. And then I switched it to hard. I put it back on normal. We are playing with the, uh, the cap. The Canadian tax dollar. Where is it? Trade difficulty. It's back now on medium. So I just did that quick, but now we are ready to start year five. I'm ready to go There's not much else we need to do First thing we maybe can just check out the contracts quick So if you look at extensions Batherson Mantha drew and Greg all up for this year So Batherson actually doesn't want a bad contract five years 5.75 if he has a really good year You could request more in the offseason, but we're probably gonna wait on all these guys We only have 6.4 in space, so we'll see what the year consists of first I'm hoping for a good year. We're going to hop in first game right now. Let's go. Year 5 starts right now. No waiting around at all for your Ottawa Senators. Let's go. So, first period. one nothing Ottawa or Boston, my bad. Taylor Hall. Second period. So, no offense for Ottawa. 2 nothing up Boston. Third period. We get one. Stutzla on the power play on Jonathan Quick. But it's too late and no offense shows up for Ottawa. Game number one. McIsaac is already hurt with a concussion until November 24th. Oh my goodness. So McIsaac is already out. Go to game two here versus Minnesota. Advanced day. Two nothing wins. Our defense coming through. Hellebuck a big shutout win. Vegas. AHL injury. We have lots of AHL backup players. October 29th for Brady Kachuk. Captain Kachuk. Lassie Thompson draws in. Reinhardt gets a big spot here. Ah, we'll throw Boucher up there. He hasn't done too much. Drew hasn't done too much either. 3-2 shootout loss to Vegas. So 1-1-1 one, one, one to start the year. We'll throw Forsberg in. Already some injuries. So I can't lie. I don't really want to lose quite a way. So I might already change it up. Batherson. Yeah, we'll try something like this. No, yeah, because I don't want... Really, any of those guys work though. Hmm. Just kind of really playing around here right now. It's a deadly third line. We'll try something like this. We'll just try something like this. Forsberg in the net. Just so we get our injuries figured out. Oh, and then Forsberg gets hurt too. Holy man, we're hurting. We're hurting already. Deep playoff run. Man, so we don't have any many. Merlane and hmm. Do I even want to play this Merlane and Jesus, just everything coming at you right now. Right away. Five and order for Belleville. Two one win, okay. So who played that game? Did Forsberg get hurt? Did this Heine Lainen play? Merlinen? No, he did not play. Okay. So, I don't know if I want to play this guy. I don't know. Should I just sign a free agent really quick? Is there any available? 
looking for a goalie 77 overall so there's 79 home Matumbo French starter high Cranley has played in the NHL no Joey Decord former Ottawa center goalie you know what we're trying this French starter high just for at least we needed a third goalie for a while. Ah, so he's not going to be signed right away. So we'll run with this guy. We'll see if he wins. Could chuck his back, thank God. So we're not scoring too much. It's been a slow start to the year, though. So could chuck. He'll go on that second line there. We'll try. Yeah, we'll try something like that. Oh no, I kind of want Mantha there, yeah. As if that line doesn't work with Catton. There we go, Catton. We'll try Catton's ruin to bring Cat. Does Merlainen win? Oh, we lose 6 nothing. Okay, so we'll put Hellebuck in. Oh, Forsberg's back already anyway. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so hell of a luck just go back in. Forsberg go in. We'll get this third goalie on our team here. Slavin has been injured with a concussion to November 20th of two, so now we're having a defense problem. Nope. Options, roster moves. So Olsen's going to actually have to come up. Is there work down there? Oh, it's 76. Okay, yeah, Olsen. Those are the forwards. Edit lines. Edit NHL lines. Saying he works on the second pairing really good. We'll just hop out, hop back in. No idea if we won or loss. We lost seven to four. It's kind of struggling right now. Uh, it gives it a zero. Hellebuck. Hellebuck gets next game against LA, so we're 2 3 and 1. So Cranley accepts his offer, so we have some goalies. Okay, let's go. Come on, Hellebuck. No, oh, no offense, 2 4 and 1. Ottawa. Oh my god, we are just going to go back to reality here. So not a good start at all. One really good year, and then this 1.57 goal. We can't have no offense. Our offense is just gone. Oh my goodness, we needed that signing of Ovechkin, and we're allowing goals. What the hell? Power play. Our power play, only two power play goals with two plus five power plays. Penalty kill at 88. Our penalty kill's hot. Who is not scoring for us? Like everybody. Oh my goodness, to bring cat minus six. Cat and five assist. Good shuck. So who has no points here? Anna, see you, nothing. Drew has zero points minus seven. Oh my god. Minus six for Boucher. Drew is the problem right now. And our team without a Claude Drew player. We are not a good team, I don't think. Okay, so Debrink had completely struggling. Uh... Should we just put him down on the second line? Maybe we could. Drew has to center the third line. Drew cannot be centering. Anybody? Let's see. Like, it's only plus ones except for Drew. We'll give it a plus five. Do, do, do. 
just trying to shink. We could do that. Left wing, Stutzla, Debrinkat. Stick him on the second line. Boucher, Cat, and then it's Theo. Yeah, we're gonna try this. And then we just gotta pray our injuries get better. Forsberg now gets back in. So, you know, we're not gonna panic. We're not gonna do anything crazy. These guys haven't been playing too bad. Austin Chuck, Greg hasn't been playing too bad. Marchenko, not horrible. So, keep this as is. We'll, we should turn it around. It's still very early in the season. So, hurry. Hopefully, Forsberg, we lose 5 to 2. Oh, okay. So, we're not looking too good already. Oh, my goodness. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We're not gonna make. We're gonna be struggling this year all year. One really good year. Now we're back to this already. Now we're gonna have to suck for two years till we go on another big run. Drew is out. I'm not feeling too good about this. This team gets really hot in the right time and then falls apart. Austin Chuck, get up there, he is. Oh, there's a win for Hellebuck. 3-5-1. and one. Oh, we need wins. Oh, we need wins. We're allowing goals now. Oh. 3-7-1 and one to start the year. Oh, my God. This is frustrating. It's not really Hellebuck's fault. Ah. Uh. Gonna try that. My god, I don't even really know anymore. Maybe we'll split these guys up a bit. Yeah, here we go. Sterling must be struggling. Yeah, minus seven. Oh my god. Forsberg to so three, seven, and one. Hoofed. Not looking good. Ridley Gregg. Looks like, did we hurt a goalie too? No, we just need, actually need another fucking player. In the system. All skaters. Bring up Ruby. Just a four flying guy here. Can he take face-offs? Not really, but he kind of has to. <laughs> so we're not looking. I'm not, I don't know what to think about this year already. I think we just lost again. I think I just seen an L there. 6-4 loss. We're 3-8-1. Oh, we can't just buy a win. Regular season success for this team is very hard, but playoff success looks to be not that bad. So Ridley Gregg is back. I don't even know what to do, really. I'm stumped already. It's or it's only November 14th, and this year's already, it seems to be gone from us. We got hit with the injury bug hard. We could really use Slavin back. We'll try a game of Rudy in, I guess. There's a 4-3 win. Oh, Drew's back, thank God. So we'll throw Giroux back up there. 4-3 win, 7-3 win. Let's get some wins now. We really need to catch up fast. Cunningham for Kerfurt. 4-3 loss. Just no regulation losses. Okay, so there's another win. 6-8-2. Okay, now we're getting some players back. We have too many up here. We've had a lot of injuries. We have an extra goalie up here, though. We could take down Merlane and yet. So McIsaac now can come back in. How's Rudy been doing? We've been winning with him in. Yeah, and he's been scoring too, so we might as well just leave him. Might as well just leave it. Cat not doing too bad. And if these are kind of disappointing. Drew's got no points and he's a minus 6, minus 11, minus 4. At least he's scoring now. Uh, who do we want to take out? Olsen, minus one. Lassie Thompson, minus four. You know what? We'll throw... Oh. Maybe Lassie. 
try this out. Hellebuck in the net. Put in Hellebuck in the net for one more loss. So hopefully we can turn around. Big game here versus Carolina. 12 and 5 Carolina. Alexander Edler. Probably don't need that. Big game versus the 12 and 6 Carolina. Come on, boys. Batherson has been injured with a mild concussion. Is November 28th. That's not too long. We could use it. We really need another center. Ridley Gregg. I think he can take some, some draws. Ooh, give it a plus five. Ooh. Yeah, it's because Drew's there. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, Ridley's got to play on the third line there. Slavin's back. Okay, there we go. Jakob Slavin. Kaizik not doing too much. Olsen, six assist, minus one. So Olsen's actually not been too bad, but we could probably take him out for Slavin. Yeah, we'll put Slavin and Sterling together there. Branstrom and Shabbat. Have they turned it around? Shabbat's a minus seven. Sterling a minus five. So, you know, we'll leave it as is. 2-1 win for nice. Come on, boys. One more win. Oh, damn it. And then Slavin gets hurt again. Oh, I should have left him out, maybe. Oh, my God. And who? The two defensive injuries. Oh, my God. God. So Thompson goes in and then McIsaac. No, it's not McIsaac. It's a uh, JBD. JBD, I guess, for Lassie. Oh, we're winning though. We're 8 8 and 2. So we turned it around. Wow, I really thought we were done there. I thought we were done there, but we're 8 8 and 2. Okay. We're done at a playoff spot. We are three points behind. But we are hot now. We are hot. Our offense finally seems like it's done. been doing something. Defensively, so it is a minus one. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Maybe we can throw them back up there together. Drew just hasn't got a point all year. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. Settle down. 2-11-2 is Montreal, so that we're doing better than them. Okay, we're 8-8-2. Eight, eight this video is going wrong decently. Actually, I need to take a time out here. Time out, boys. At the end of the month, 8-8-2. Eight, eight, and two. We're on a bit of a heater here. After a very slow start to the year, so the boys finally picked it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 out of 6. 6 straight games with a point after starting like so slow. So we got a big game here versus Montreal. Hellebuck in the net. Come on, Hellebuck. Come on, Hellebuck. Batherson is back. Come on, boys. you got to beat Montreal. you got to beat Montreal. So Batherson is back. Give that plus five second line. Ooh, seven three win. And yes, yes, yes. So we're over five hundred. Hella buck versus Boston. We'll go to the end of the month here. Then we'll check out the stats. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Oh, and it's a five two loss. So nine nine and two. An OT loss would have been nice, but they just finally got to Hella buck. Hella buck was playing really good. Nine oh four two eighty nine. So Forsberg gets in. Forsberg's been struggling all year. Come on. Uh, I can just replace you. Oh, and it's a 5-3 loss. God damn. So 9-10-2. Okay. Ah, Forsberg's been struggling. 8-73, 444. Can we bring up another forward? Scratched. Currently got Reinhardt. No, we have to wait for like an injury. Okay, so let's check out the stats here. It's a very interesting year. We're not dominating. I thought maybe we we're going to be in cruise control and just make it to the playoffs easy. That's not looking like the case right now. We are outside by at least four points. So yeah, we just need to start winning, 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 winning. We have to be definitely 10 games above 500 from here on out. Goals for, so we started Atrocious, so we are actually picking it up quite a bit. We are just about at three, but our goals against per game has actually been struggling really bad, so we do need goaltending help or something to give there. Power play, 21%, so our power play is not bad. It should be better low, to be honest. Penalty kill, not too bad either. No one complains about our penalty kill, actually. So I'll just check this out. So Debrinkat, after a horrible start, he looks like he's actually turned it around quite a bit. Kachuk, not doing too bad. Stutzla, Katten. Boucher, Anna, I see you. 
Batherson minus 12. He's, that's kind of concerning. Batherson, yeah, it's Batherson. Okay, so Drew is actually getting points now. He's only a minus 5. He only has 4 points. He should start scoring a bit. He is still 83 overall. Marchenko, we could probably take Marchenko out. Marchenko's been pretty... I thought the bottom line sniper would help out a bit more. Rudy's been pretty helpful. Zach Ostapchuk, Reinhardt. So that's the thing. We just kind of need like a fourth liner. We traded away all those fourth liners. Or we didn't trade them, but we let them all go. Gaudet, Silverberg. Now we really need one. Uh, defensemen. Yeah, our defense has just been struggling really bad too. Hellebuck, not bad. Could be a little bit better. And a fourth book been really disappointing this year. Okay. So we're going to the entire league. Malkin. He's an NHL top six forward. He's got 30 points in 22 games. Dang. Kane's on Detroit. Byfield. Wow, we're all over the place here. McDavid. To bring Cats up there. Holy man. Bring it up there for goals, too. It's not bad. Rookie skaters. Caswell. Edward Sale. He's got a picture. Okay, okay, okay. So. Do I want to just trade for a third, fourth liner right now? I'm not going to be able to fix this. We do need a. Uh, a center for the fourth line or something. Ah. Playmaking fourth line center to help Marchenko out even. Really thinking about this now. Really thinking about this now. We probably maybe should. Before it's just too late. Before it is too late. This could help out a lot. Should I just check out free agency first? Oh, there's something. They got some young prospect players there. I'll just check out free agents first, maybe. Demon. Yeah, there won't be anything here, really. Ah. Fonstad. Nobody that's really scouted. Nobody is scouted. Nobody is scouted. Okay. So I'm going to propose... I was thinking, if I do do it, it's not going to be a crazy player. It's going to be a player that costs me not very much. So I might as well just see. Joel Edmondson. So he, we traded him to Anaheim. I was checking out that Anaheim. We gave him three picks, two-thirds and a fifth. They drafted nobody with them. But we did give him Ed Edmondson, who they was much of. Uh, it looks like they probably just lost him for nothing, actually. <laughs> but Sanderson's good for them, so and he's on a really good contract. So the trade isn't too bad. They just did nothing with those draft picks, which is kind of silly. Ostland, so he's a top six. That's saying he's a bit too high of value there. Vetrano. Vetrano is the center. Looking for centers. So they want to actually trade Malkin. He's actually he's got value, though, because he's shredding. Our pro scouts are so bad now, too. I don't know what happened. I thought we got better ones. Kristen Dvorak. Okay, so he fits on line four. He, is he a play? He's not a playmaker. He's a two-way forward. 3.25. Uh, that's not bad for one year. Kristen Dvorak in Dallas. Kristen Dvorak in Dallas. Okay. That is definitely the best option so far. Uh, no, that's too much. Value. Coleman. Okay, so Blake Coleman even too. He's a two-way forward too. Krejci's a bit too much value. Coleman would probably be the backup option. Yanni Gord. He's got a lot of value. Good though. It's all good. Uh, not much else. Hinestroja. No. I don't know. I'm really liking Dvorak to be honest. That's probably the best bet. Dvorak is probably the best bet. Dvorak's probably the best bet. Dvorak. Ooh, Jason Dickinson. He's got two years left. All penalty killing lines. Tavares. Adam got dead. That's the thing. We could probably just even... Like, that's a bit of an upgrade if we get Dvorak from Dallas. Murphy. And there's no centers. St. Louis. Tampa. Toronto. Blake Lozado. Drew's brother. Da Damien Drew. Don't know if that's his brother. No one. Gregor. Hmm. 
Yeah, you know what? I like Dvorak the most. I like Dvorak the most. I actually feel like he might actually help out a little bit right now. Play him right on that fourth line center role, role and see what he does. If he can help the wingers out, if he can help those young guys out. He hasn't had a bad production here this year. He kind of struggled a bit last year. But in a good fourth line role, I think he could be good. So what do they want? We might have to trade them. We have a lot of forwards. Yeah, we might have to trade them a forward or just somebody. They do want... Uh, they want an AHL KO here. Not the Cunningham. They want to literally give up like the three guys like, I don't want to give up. Reinhardt, I could probably actually give up Reinhardt though. Uh, he has fallen off after that 26 points. He has been a good plug for us. He's got two years left, but we could probably trade him there for Dvorak. But I actually, I do need depth is the thing. I'm lacking forward depth, so actually, yeah. Remove asset. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, draft picks. I should just give him a pick. Not even this year. I'll give him a pick next year. A third. Just a third straight up next year for Dvorak. Yeah, that's not going to go through. Uh, see, that's what I mean. If it was on hard, it would be crazy even to get Dvorak here. So to get Dvorak now, it's going to be like a... Uh, a second next year. But then they have to give me... A third? Next year? No, see, like, that's not going to go through either. No way. It's going to have to be like a fourth. So there's no fourth this year. Yeah, we'll try a fourth. A Dvorak and a fourth for a second. That should go through. Oh, it's too far off. Dvorak. And a fifth this year for a second next year. A second next year. Oh, is that too much for Dvorak? If this doesn't work, if we make the playoffs, it's not bad. But if this doesn't work, we will be able to trade someone away for a second. If we don't make the playoffs, we could trade Batherson or Mantha at the trade thin line. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. So we got Dvorak. We don't got much cap space. We're competing for a playoff spot. Pulled the trigger. Letting the boys know that this is what we're doing. So he is in the lineup. Probably take out. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take out. Actually, probably take out Ostapchuk. He's kind of—he hasn't really done too much either. Dvorak. So he doesn't really. It's higher overall. I don't know. Hopefully, he can just get something going there. Really great. What if we put Ostapchuk in here though? Post of Chuck. No, no plus one. So who? Post of Chuck. Greg. Yeah, Greg's been playing the best out of all of them. All three of them have been kind of the same. Yeah, we'll play Ridley Greg, and he's been playing the best. So Ridley Greg, you've been playing the best. You can get, draw into the lineup. Left, right, there. That's our fourth line. Ridley Gregg, Christian Dvorak, Marchenko. Hopefully that's a bit of an upgrade. Uh, our penalty kill's been good. So hopefully, yeah, so we just need a fourth line little boost there. Some more scoring. Do I just want to continue on? Is there anything else I need to do? I don't know. I don't know. Should we change up for these lines again? Minus three. Stutzla. Mantha's only got one goal. So maybe we could take Mantha off. Then I don't think the Brink Cat's going to be going as good. Um, and I, like, that's not going to work either. And the CU is not going to help out. Could try something like that. Batherson. Kachuk Stutzla. We need to get Batherson going too. Minus 12. That's horrible. Eh. Not this third line hasn't been awful. Yeah, like I said, we get that fourth line going, and then our defense now. 
So this is what we're going with. Goalies in the net. We got Hellebuck in for the next two games. So this is what we're going to go with. Hopefully Hellebuck can go to win here. 2 nothing win. Big shutout in the first game. Nice, nice, nice. So this Jarventin is back. So actually, he was playing really good too. So we can maybe... One, three points. I just want to see if he fits in here. If he doesn't fit, we might just leave. Yeah. He, no difference. So we'll leave Ridley Gregan. Looks like we're going to have to send someone down once uh, Slavin comes back. I don't know if we have any other injuries. I think that's the only injury. We might have two defense out. JBD's out too. Oh, and then it's a 5-3 low. So we might follow it up with a loss. Come on, boys. Come on, Hellebuck. Come on, Hellebuck. Sterling. <laughs> Oh, we're just hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt. And... Oh my god. Three defensemen out. No, not that. I don't want that. I want strategies. O'Rourke is coming up. Wow, we're hurting on defense. I hate to use it as an excuse, but man, we're hurting on injuries. O'Rourke. Oh, scratched. Like, now what? Branch, no, like, look at our bottom four here. Like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, who even knows? Who even knows what happens this game? We probably lost. Oh, we lost in a shootout. So do we want to play Forsberg next game? So it's, I don't know, zero all around. It's pretty weak defense. Shabbat's carrying the defense. So who do we play? We play LA. Do we want to put that fringe starter high end, or do we want to play Forsberg? Do we want to play Forsberg? You know what, this is... You know what, now we have the injury space, we should bring up the goalie and try him right now. We should, we should, we should. We'll keep Forsberg around, we aren't going to send him down. We'll bring up this Cranley. We'll be over the player limit. Okay, we can bring someone down. Well, O'Rourke's playing. Ruby can come down. Craziness, craziness, craziness in year five. Forsberg, you're sitting. Cranley is getting the start. Will Cranley, welcome to the NHL versus LA. We need a spark. We need a boost. Can he provide it for us? Ah, uh, oh, three, two, wait. Okay, huge, huge, huge. Okay, okay. He's going to get the next game too. Sterling is back. So we have too many forwards once again. Actually, we have too many D men, so we can probably send down O'Rourke now. Is that who he was in for? Yes. Ah. Sterling. Has he been playing better? I really hope so. We should probably be playing him on the left side too, maybe. Minus seven. Oh, I should have best lines my bed. Uh, edit lines. Check out Sterling here quick. It's got the zero. So we can put him on Olsen. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. McIsaac. Shabbat, he's been playing pretty good now. Branstrom's been playing pretty good. Don't need to punish them. So Giroux, six points, one goal. Matha, two goals. Okay, so we're going to run a Cranley for one more game. Will Cranley versus Carolina. Come on, Cranley. Come on, Cranley. Oh, it's a 4-2 loss. Okay. So Hellebuck goes back in. 
how were his numbers? 915303. So not horrible. Hellebuck's rocking a 909280. So Hellebuck's actually doing good enough. Dvorak, how's he been doing since the trade? Nothing. Minus one. Oh, every time I trade for a depth fourth liner, they do nothing for my team. Oh my god. McIsaac. Oh, who do we replace him with? Okay, so Hellebuck comes in and gets the win. I don't know who he just replaced our defenseman with. Ostapchuk. Horrible. <laughs> Ah, uh, we have the one with Austin Chuck playing on the second pairing. In the system. We should technically even be having Sterling still resting when he's got that little medical sign, but whatever. So, O'Rourke. Olsen can play with Sterling, I guess. Big win for Hellebuck. 12-12-3. Still no the longer we stay 500, the longer we're getting away from the, the farther the playoff spots getting away. We really need to get hot and hot fast. We just kind of win, win, lose, 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 win, win, lose, lose. Like, come on, boys, get hot, hot, hot. So there's two wins for Hello Buck. Come on, buddy. Arizona, 13, 15, and 1. There's a win. Another win versus New Jersey, 17, 10, and 1. Best lines, 6 to 2. There we go, 15, 12, and 3. For three points out now, so just keep going. Don't even think about it. Just keep going. 14, 10, and 5. Philadelphia, come on, boys. You're hot. You're hot. You're hot. Oh, and then you lose 3 to 1. Oh, come on. You're not even playing. You have redemption against them, though. You have redemption against them in this next game here. So let's beat Philadelphia or let's beat St. Louis and let's go back to Philadelphia and let's beat them. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Boucher has now been hurt. Uh, we could probably replace some. I just want to see. Austin Chuck can probably go in, yeah. No plus one. Ah, I wish there was a plus one there. Okay, Ruby's back. Whatever, best lines, AHL. No, we don't need. 3-2 win. Okay, huge. Come on, now we get your redemption versus Philly. Get your redemption versus Philly. Get your redemption versus Philly. Yes. Whew. We're one point out of a playoff spot now. Okay, what a fucking, whew, what a turnaround. Where are we at? We're at December. We're just about at January, so Boucher is now back. We have too many forwards. Slavin looks like he's back. JBD is out, and McIsaac is out. Uh... You know what? I'm feeling kind of confident now. We could probably start Forsberg for the next game. So we could probably have to send Cranley down, actually. So go to edit lines. Just because we've had so many injury problems, so we're probably going to need these guys anyways. So who's back? Boucher and Slavin. Yeah, I want them healthy, so you know we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Oh, I need a goalie though. So Forsberg goes in. It's gonna be a long video for you guys. I already did this. Oh my god. So yeah, we can now consent on our work. We're going to have to edit the lines now, though. It's okay. McIsaac can just go in. Come on. Minus three? Like, really? I don't think it's that bad. So we're just going to change it like that. Okay. So 17, 3, and 3. We still got Hellebuck in the net versus Washington. Lassie Thompson's a minus 12, so we really need to get Thompson out of the lineup. So, Hellebuck versus Washington, the very good Washington Capitals. Come on, boys, give it your all, give it your all, give it your all. We had a big break, three game break. Oh, we lose four to one. Okay. We're going to put Forsberg in versus Pittsburgh. We're going to put Forsberg in versus Pittsburgh. And we're going to put Boucher and Slavin in. Okay. I should have actually put him in last game. I kind of fucked that one up. So, Austin Chuck. Yeah, he's been very uneventful. More of a playoff guy. Boucher. Have you done anything, Dvorak? Minus four, three points. Nah. Ridley Gregg. He's kind of falling off. Marchenko only minus eight. So you know what, actually? Ostep Chuck. We can, we can throw Ostep Chuck on the fourth line. We need a shake up there. And they see you minus one. So not bad. Bathurst minus ten. So he's a little bit turned it around. Drew's only minus five. debrinkat has got 44, 42 points. Did I get Boucher in? Yes. 
So we got the plus one or the minus on the third line. And then I want Slavin in for Olsen. Olsen's been playing very good, though. So I'm going to just do this, actually. I'm going to put Slavin in. Yeah, Slavin and Sterling can play. And we're going to put McIsaac and Olsen together. Yes. Yes, and we'll run with this friends. We'll see how this does. Still pretty good top four, I would say. So now we got four. Oh, did I change Forsberg? I can't remember if Forsberg in. I can't remember. Let's go on Forsberg. Come on, Forsberg. Big game for Pittsburgh. Redemption game. Yeah, baby. 18, 14, and 3. Whoo. Oh, we're still one point, two points out. We're right behind. We're a game. They have a game ahead of us. So we are on the right direction. We just need to keep winning. We just can't stop losing. We can't. It's gotta stop losing. So the little shake up to Forsberg scared him. He gets a win. Hopefully he can get hot. Goals four per game. We're still not over three. We're still kind of struggling in that department. We don't got the depth scoring that I would actually like. Our goals against is actually a little high too. So both, I feel like the goals four should go up. Goals against should go down. And we should start winning more technically. Power play. Our power play is starting to get hot. Penalty kill. Our penalty kills all, very been hot all year. The brink cat's been on fire. 45 points. He's on. He might get 100 points. 45. Kachuk. Stutzla. Katten on the third line has been very productive. That's what I mean. I should maybe, we should probably play Katten more. If we could somehow switch Katten for Batherson. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. And I see you. He, Katten even got and I see you going. That's the thing. Maybe we have to keep Katten and and I see you together. Drew, Mantha's kind of been disappointing. Dvorak, Greg, Marchenko. Hmm. 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 Defense looks like it's getting better. Lassie Thompson's out, out, so hopefully these guys can all approve a little bit. Oh, a lot of minuses there. And Hellebuck, he's been playing very well. 888 save percentage for Forsberg. So check out who's leading. Is it Malkin? Robertson and McDavid. Ooh, Malkin's still up there, though. Debrinkat's up there. Let's go, Debrinkat. Bring some awards to Ottawa, baby. The 29-year-old of Debrinkat. Hogan. Sheldon Hogan in L.A. So it's January 1st, 2027. You know what? We've had a long first half here. We might just stop it here. Reassess. I'm not too sure what else we need to do. We'll check it out. Hopefully we can make the playoffs. If we miss the playoffs, it is going to be very disappointing. So we got to go all in. So if we need to make another trade, we still have... We could trade a first. We could maybe trade some prospects. We could see what we could do. But it's a big year for the Ottawa Senators. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Come back next time. Peace.